previously on Asia's Next Top Model. 16 of Asia's most beautiful girls arrived in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh my god, this is so surreal, but I'm here. <laughs> Right off the bat, they struggled to keep dry on their very first challenge. Chinese model Jessie had trouble handling her fear of water. I was really scared, like I couldn't feel myself like shaking. What happened? It was a real disaster and was sent packing in a surprise elimination. Good. Well done, sweetheart. Keep working that camera. And right after the first photo shoot, Nicole gets bad news from home. Oh, I want to see her go. I want to be there. At judging, things only got worse for the Singaporean model. Are you going down in pain and staggering down in pain? But it's Electra from Hong Kong who ultimately fails to impress the judges. Relieved and good to go home. 14 girls remain, each vying for the top prize of a modeling contract with Storm Models London. A cover and fashion spread for Harper's Bazaar, Malaysia and Harper's Bazaar, Singapore. A contract to become the face of the Tresemme 2014 campaign. A brand new Subaru XV and a cash prize to top it off. Only one girl will have the chance to become Asia's next top model. After the elimination, Nicole, I think she's kind of emotional. <laughs> We all thought that a board had fallen, but when we turned around, I saw Nicole punching the board continuously. Wow, I was like, oh my god, this girl gone crazy. Because we don't know what's gonna happen next because she's like so emotional at that time. Get her off my face now. I mean it. I will trash that camera if I'm serious. Get it off my face! make me scared actually because I, I cannot stand it. It's not a good way to express the, her emotion. Okay, I'm okay. I, I just lost control. It's what I call a shambolic estrogen bomb. Actually, I was not so sad much about Electra left. I think she is not kind of person who is gonna be a model. The biggest threat at this point for me will be Tia. I didn't expect that she can do so well in like the first photo shoot. Best photograph goes to Tia. Congratulations, young lady. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's Next Top Model. I genuinely have love for Tia. I love that girl. You know, she's mature for a 17-year-old. Like, I know how to like make poses. But... I did this already. Wait. You're like a natural. You're now I'm doing this. No, dude, like... That's what you wanted. I was I so happy. Know, man, I was so yeah, happy. I'm only 17, but look at my boot. I get in the club just because like, I have a big boot. I was like, I have a big boot too when I was 17. Probably bigger than yours, but I won't keep telling people. Going somewhere. Oh. Morning, Moonches! I was upstairs and I hear Adam's voice. Are we all here, ladies? I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, oh god, how do I look? Because like I haven't even washed my face and brushed my teeth. Meet Bib Ling. She's a model, a DJ, and blogger. She's a social media genius and here to share her social media skills and sexy secrets with you, Moonches, <laughs> Miss Bib Ling. Mooch is my cartoon character that I created. Moochie. <laughs> oh, she's cute. On social media, when you are online, there's so many photographs, and there are a lot of photographs that are very boring. So try and think of ways to kind of manipulate the photographs to make them into something that you like, that makes you happy. Um, how long did it take you before people really started to notice you? It was about maybe a year or even less. There's so many fashion blogs and they all look like almost the same. I kind of was just like, I want to make it different. But for myself, you know, to like make myself like feel like I'm doing something. It felt nice to know that, wow, someone can become a model over just a blog. It is time for this week's Moochie Challenger. 
We'll have three team leaders. How fitting, model fitting, we use our three top photos, Tia. Leader one, Sheena, leader two, and Jojo Josephine, leader three. One at a time, we will be selecting our team. Natalie. PJ. Janice. Katarina. They were choosing their roommates. G. Bona. Apparently, I'm really strong-minded and they needed people who would probably listen to them in the group. Um, Tao. Oh, Mooch, I see a little problem. I only have two left standing. Ladies, you can form team four. None of the girls picked me because they I had a meltdown like the Hulk. Who would pick the Hulk in their group? Yeah. The best yeah. look for us. Yes. I'm picking this huh? You'll be responsible in your three and a half groups to tour the beautiful Malaysian city of KL taking selfies. Oh. Ladies, collect your garments, please. Just trying to get this like the shots and we even do stupid things like we lay down on the floor right in the middle of the road. I like my photo because Natalie took the low angle and then it can show my long legs. This challenge was so interesting and so much fun uh, because there's a uh, time to walk around uh, Malaysia. <laughs> Uh, they don't want us to take us take pictures because they said it's private. But the thing is, there's so many tourists over there taking pictures, so I don't get it. I think we we have limited time right now, and also we've been kicked out of a lot of places. Tia, she's got the best shot, you know, challenge. So she's leading our group. We don't know where we should be going. It's really scary to cross the road. So I think we're just gonna probably try and stay around here or look around. We work as a team and we come up with a great idea from where, where to position uh, each of the models and uh, hopefully we, we ace this challenge. Work it girl! Let's be very very honest here, the selfie challenge right? I, I freaked out. The challenge sucks really, the challenge really sucked like sh**. No, no, don't worry, it's still full like this we were the only group with two members and that sucks, that feeling sucks. Yeah, don't worry, just trust me, okay? She was really bossy. She was taking it too seriously, like, you were supposed to have fun. Like, you can't look happy in a picture if, I mean, you're looking pressurized. Just keep it natural, you know? Keep it natural. natural. Keep it natural. Keep it natural. Not because like, you're like, uh, just like, you're like, okay, go. Be my girlfriend. Okay, let's go, let's go. What was this? I'm very fond of her. So if it was somebody else, probably I would give her a piece of my mind. You guys are eliminated. I'm trying to get you. Huh? It was supposed to be fun and happy, but I turned it into a really, really tiring task. This one is like, we are the only two remaining ones. I don't want to sound bad or negative. Like, they realize no one selected us on our team. We're not close to them. They were always scripted close of friends. Yeah, it's true. Probably because she's my friend, I let her do what she did. I took it way too far. I, I, I even had a nervous breakdown over a challenge that's not cool. Yeah, I was a bitch. I was. Time to check out who has it and um, who hasn't. Pip, thanks for joining us again. She will be choosing who wins today's prize. Are you ready, ladies? Yes! First photo, please. Marie, Tia, Janice, Sneha, Jimmy, Tao, Sheena, Natalie, Natalie, good job.
Fauna, Josephine, Katarina, <laughs> Nicole. Immediately following your photo shoot tomorrow, one lucky selfie taker will be whisked away in a luxury helicopter where she will land at the internationally renowned Pankor Lao Resort and stay for one night. Oh, I need that. <laughs> where she will be pampered and treated like a true celebrity blogger. Oh, oh my god, I want to be there. <laughs> it's time for our judge bit. The winner is... Pooja! <laughs> and the reason why is because I loved your your pose, your angle, and I also loved the background and how it was very graphic and very bold and very simple. Pooja's photo was boring. She was very much herself, which was... I don't give a crap. What would you say if I let you know you could take someone with you? I would be all right with it. I'd be quite excited. <laughs> Pooja! Who would that one person be? Katharina. Hi, Pooja! <laughs> I think everybody was a little taken aback that she chose Katharina. I'm jealous. I wish Pooja can choose me because I really want to get into the helicopter and get to enjoy this fantastic view. I was shocked. I was like, wow, I'm going to have a photo shoot here. My first reaction going into the cave was, it was huge. There was one monkey that was like really picky. What a picky monkey. It was hilarious. Though. <laughs> they're so adorable, but they're scared at the same time. I just got a fever this morning uh, and a sore throat, so I think I'm dehydrated. But I wasn't gonna let that stop me from climbing those crazy ass stairs. Ladies, I hope you have your adventurous spirit with you because you need it because 2014 is the year of Malaysia and we're here in one of their most popular tourist destinations here at the Batu Caves. And this is the venue for your second photo shoot. <laughs> Ladies, you're all wearing the collection of Melinda Louie. Now, your photographer today is Mal Mauricio and he knows what a top model is like and he's going to be taking 15 frames of all of you. Now, being in such a sacred, beautiful place as we are here, it's important before your photo shoot to give an offering. When I was carrying that basket of fruits, that was the offering. Sort of the obstruction was the monkeys. I was scared of monkeys until I was walking up the steps. I'm scared. Huh? <laughs> and the monkeys were baring their teeth at me. I was like, please don't take the fruits. This is for the gods. No! We'll be looking on the camera for like five, six, seven shots, and then the next seven shots would we'll be looking off camera. And then just work with your dress. Your dress is beautiful, so it's big, so work with it. I'm so tired that time. I'm worried, like, 
Maybe in my picture, the people will see how my face tires. I cannot tell. Give me off cameras first, Tao. Tao worked that dress really well. It's a big That's dress, a and I really love how she moved it. She has an amazing face. Uh, I think she she can do really well in this one if she knows how to work her angles. And then off camera, good. Well, on my first seven, eight, nine shots, she was really static on her movement. A lot of hands in the face. Drop that hand. Drop that hand. On her last three photos, I think she rocked that one. I want to show something dramatic, so I use my legs a lot. And she and photograph said it was gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. Two more shots, it's Jay. It's gorgeous. Well, she started slow, but she finished really strong on that one. I like that three shots. <laughs> no, me too. I'm sure I will not go home with this chat. Is this photo shoot? Eyes. Nice, Janice. Model face. Janice was fun to shoot because every frame she had to pause for like five seconds and try to channel in whatever she wants to channel. Well, taking the fact that I do have a fever, I think I did pretty well. Joey was pretty pleased that I didn't let the fever take over me during the photo shoot. Being a mom and a model is uh, two interesting parts of my life. One reason I want to join Asia's Next Top Model because I, uh, this is a great true comeback for me to in modeling career. Good. Down. Give me variation without doing Tai Chi on this one. It's like you're climbing up the stairs, Bona. You're climbing and all of a sudden someone calls and you're like, what? I try to make the kimono fly, but it's hard. I'm already tired by uh, going up the stairs. Bona was tough. I'm just not getting something from her on the first 10 shots. Joey said she found something on her first few sets. For me, I didn't see anything. I can see from the expression of Joey. I just guess that it is not good enough. Good. Awesome. I like how your leg was up on one of the steps, yeah? Beautiful. Off camera on me. Go off camera. Nice, Katarina. Good. Nice. Good. One more. Nice. Good. One more. Good. I was a bit afraid I lost a few frames because I wasn't, you know, with the movements you can lose your face. But fingers crossed I have a good picture in the end. And play with your face. You've given me some great fierce ones now. Give me some more emotional, keep it soft. Still, You're I like how we're tilting your head that way. Female goddess. Sheena was just consistently good. I was looking at all her photos, all the 15. I would say she has an 80% batting average on that one. A lot of good ones. Good, one more. Awesome. It was extremely positive. I didn't even feel nervous. But I'm Hindu. I think that was like an added advantage for me, probably spiritually. Goddess, you are a goddess, you're in control. Good. Sneha was amazing. Sneha reminds me of uh, Joey Me. I mean, she was working all her angles, and the, her face, she was giving me so much on her face, and she was really good. Beautiful. I see where you're going with that one, but try not to get that feather to cover your whole face. I want movements, big movements, big movements. One, two, and three. Good. Nice. Good. There were some spots where she was trying to move, but it wasn't working. I want to see fluid motion. Do that, do that left hand. Good. I like how you just flip that back. I had 15 shots, but it felt like five seconds of just bam, 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 it's done. And I was like, what? I just hope I didn't do too bad. But I don't, I don't think, I definitely don't think I'll win best shot again this time. Nice. I like that one. I don't want to lose your left hand again. I'm feeling honored to work with Mr. Mao and to be watched by Miss Joey. That's beautiful. I feel so flattered like because they've been telling me I look amazing. It makes me feel motivated to do more. <laughs> I think you're done. Wow. Julie would do you okay? whatever to get that shot. We've seen her, you know, slip on a couple of steps, but I mean, every frame, everyone was just in awe. Oh! Oh! Guys, when you do that, I want you to be reminded of your left 
I find that like, the photographer is really, really nice and I just hope that he likes my performance because like, that will matter at judging tomorrow. Like, I really want to have a good photo, I, I want to say, and I don't want to be bothered to again. So keep moving, I like that. I like how you were moving. Good. But not too much warrior, right? Nicole had something in mind. She moved really well. Nice. Yeah, baby you girl. You just read my mind. Oh my goodness. Good, one more. Good. That's good. Good. Give me more of that hand. Good, that's beautiful. I'm satisfied with my photo shoot because the photographer is like having fun with me. Nice, you got that one. Good. After we got attacked by monkeys, straight away we went to the helicopter ride with all of our photo shoot makeup on, our photo shoot hair. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited. Ladies, welcome on board. It's gold. So nice. The helicopter ride was amazing. It's all in champagne gold with white leather. It looks really expensive. I feel so much like a princess. I was super, super excited. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, finally we're gonna get away from everybody. And it put me in a good mood. Ladies, nice. welcome to Pankola Resort. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Okay, I wanna see the room, I wanna see the room. We got to stay in Pankulaut in the C-suite villa. Oh wow! I can't believe I won this. Thank you. The place itself already looked so beautiful with like the clear waters and I couldn't even make it to my room without being amazed by the surroundings. Yeah, I felt really lucky. Oh my god. In our bathroom, we had this centerpiece and the centerpiece were these four little windows which you can just lift up and look down into the sea, which is really cool. And then we had a really nice bedroom, living room. This is so cool. You'll see like fishes here and there. After we got to see our suite, which was super, super nice, we went by the beach and we just walked. It was a private beach, so it was very romantic. Today, walking with fruit and the monkeys was a challenge. Walking on water, we're doing it again. We've pretty yeah. much mastered it by now. Oh, what's in the bed? What's in the bed? Oh my god. Tresemme. <laughs> I saw a bow, so I was going to be designer clothes, and then I turned out it was like Tresemme. Oh my god, finally. That's I'm so good. cool. Spoo's oh, easy to oh, 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 I was like teeny so tiny. And when I had this like mini straightener, I really loved it and I love traveling so I was like, this is perfect. Oh God, this is a handbag! Whoa! I love Tresemme. <laughs> Thank you Tresemme, I love you! I was just really happy, you know, like, I mean I really don't want to go home but if they really do send me, I was like, at least I got my Tresemme gift. <laughs> Like, does she really expect me to hold her? No her? way, no, dude. I think she wants her to be like that. And Sneas is being a little Indian princess. And it's just frustrating when you walk in the room and all you see is like mess. Look at this disgusting man. It's like a pile of I asked her really nicely. She gave me the dumbass answer. I'm like, dude, have some, you know, respect for your roommates. But Sneha doesn't really clean up her stuff. And it doesn't really bother me. If she wants to look messy and untidy, that's, that's honestly up to her. But I guess it just really bothers Janice. Can you at least put it under the bed? Like, I know you don't want to clean it, um, what? fold it because what? you don't. You're gonna mess it up again. But put it under the bed. So when people walk in, they don't oh see a pile of clothes. I have my suitcase inside the freaking bed. How's that underneath, possible? Underneath. Underneath. No, it's too. It's too low. Do you want me to do it for you and make it and prove to you that I can? I, didn't, I don't want my clothes to be like compressed, dude. Well, I can't I keep taking it out and putting it back in. Like that's like the only space I take, wow, man. Wow, that's a lot of effort, man. It was very bossy, you know, Can as I if she right? sort of owns the goddamn house. I took offense. I don't like it. What the hell? That's like my if little space, you, man. You don't need to create like an issue out of that, Janice. 
I don't know why. I mean, what the hell? I mean, there's a way. I, I honestly thing. think that we all just need to probably clean up our room. Like, the, everything's messy. Yeah, I mean, you can see, You messy. know, if you go see the other rooms, everybody has like their own space, dude. Like, I have a really small suitcase. So when I'm taking things out, it's very difficult to put it back in when you're in a hurry and you're leaving for something. I don't have a goddamn big suitcase, man. If I did, probably it'd be cleaner. I don't know. I have nothing to do with this. That's your side of the bed. You know, I'm happy with mine. I yeah, I don't. I don't intrude in yours, do I? Grow up and just talk together, like you know, face to face, and just get it over with. It felt like high school all over again. Why don't you guys stop talking about? It? Just go approach her. But I really see that. What? what? If you guys see, if I did, I would slap her, and I don't want to result in violence right now. I'm just done trying to ask her nicely. She's so insignificant in my life. So whatever. She just came out of the room and shot started like bossing around. Why don't you clean your <laughs> Janice. As if she owns the house. And I was like, there's a way of saying things. You can't talk to me like that. If I'm messy, I'm open about it. Like I am messy. But if they have a problem, they can let me know. I will try. But don't order me. I don't like that. Are you for reals, man? couldn't even tell, yeah. tell them the reason. So like, they'll probably be pissed off. I see you making a Welcome decision. back, lucky Hi. girl. How Hi. How was the holiday? you. How was it? When, when I got home, I knew that I wasn't going to talk about it until unless someone asked me about it because I didn't want to seem like I was boasting. Pooja and I already foresaw that it would be awkward in some cases. When Tia asked me, I did have a thought in my mind like, do you really care, really? Because like, I had already heard all whatever Tia had to say about me being selected as the winner and going on that trip. Why are they talking to me? I don't know, I really could not get... I just sat there and I was like, nothing is interesting, so I just really? left. You were, you were sitting there? Yeah, I sat there and I just asked them like how it was, and then how their shit was, and then after that, after that I was just like, yeah, I'll <laughs> leave. Welcome to your second round of judging. Now, the stakes are high in this competition and the prizes are fabulous. You get to win for yourself a brand new Subaru XV. You'll also be the face of the new Tresemme campaign. You'll get to do an editorial and cover for Harper's Bazaar Singapore and the same for Harper's Bazaar Magazine Malaysia. On top of that, you'll win a contract with one of the top model management companies in the world, Storm Models London, and because we're feeling generous, we'll throw in a bunch of cash too. All right, let me now introduce our wonderful panel of judges. Up first, we have your model mentor, Joy Mead King. Double high fives. <laughs> and next, we have our resident photographer. It's Mike Rosenthal. Hey, girls. And it's your catwalk coach, Mr. Adam Williams. Hi, girlfriend. We have the woman who's behind the gorgeous outfits that you wore, Melinda Louis. And last but not least, 23-year-old storm model, DJ and fashion blogger, Bip Ling. All right, judges, let's get the show on the road. With 2014 being Visit Malaysia Year, we headed to Batu Caves for our photo shoot. Tia. You had the best shot last week. And as you can see, it's right up there, center stage. So let's see how your first photo started. If this is the best out of 15 frames, I'm really concerned to see what the rest would look like. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with this one. You got the claw, the other arm is almost completely disappeared. You came to our competition two steps forward, four steps back. Thank you, Tia. Sheena. Oh my goodness. That's a killer. You did it. You... <laughs> Seriously, amazing. I have to put my glasses on for the heat protruding from that image. Pooja. I really like this photograph. I think your pose is very chic. It's not too try hard. I think you worked the location really well. Sneha. 
Do you have any immediate thoughts about this photo? I think, Sneha, you are my shapeshifter. I love you. I don't love this picture, but you brought something. Tao, I almost didn't recognize you in this photograph. I see the queen looking down at her subject, and I do love a queen. I think it's a nice photo of the outfit. Jihei. The fluidity of your dress, it just shows the luxurious fabric so beautifully. This is in stark contrast to what's going on from here up. Unfortunately, your face looks a little bit like somebody got in trouble. It's like you've just turned around and said, the kids have just made a big mess in the kitchen. Like, hey, what are you doing? I have the same thought. <laughs> you know? Like, I would do that to my As kids. a mother, right? <laughs> Janice. I heard you were not feeling so good. High fever. High fever? Okay, let's have a look and see how you did with a fever. It's very clever of you to have the pose on the stairs, but I think this dress will look much better if you have it standing tall. I can see that you are feeling a little unwell. Good job for trying. I hope you feel better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bona. To me, it looks like you're about to throw yourself off the stairs. It pains me that the regal, respectful, dignified, wonderful woman you really, really are just isn't translating in front of a camera. Marie. I like the top half of the photograph. I like the lean back. Uh, but I'm not so keen on the bottom half. I don't really like the shape that you're creating with the dress. Yeah. Natalie. I like the way you're, you're kind of draped down the stairs. I like the expression. I like how you play with the dress by putting your leg out to show the layers and the colors. I just feel that your hands are a bit awkward. Thank you. Jodely. Ooh la 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 la. Oh my goodness. Seriously? That is an incredible picture. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm so jealous of you right now. You are so much better than me. Nicole, you look shocked. It's so cute that you're doubting yourself because this shot is amazing. You're a kung fu princess goddess gone wild on fashion. This is amazing. I think I would love to borrow this for my next photo shoot. Katerina. Well, baby girl, it's a great improvement compared to last week. What I think is interesting is that you're really the only girl who gave us this kind of happy, kind of wondrous look, and it's different, but it works. Josephine. Josephine, if we looked at this positioning in any other context, it's just random. And this awkward positioning you've delivered is really blending well with the carvings behind you. This is a very difficult dress to pull off, right? And you did it perfect. Alrighty, girls. The judges and I will now deliberate and when you return, you will know who is still in the running to what's becoming Asia's next top model. Your attack. That's more taking a right? Sneha, Pooja and I went to the restroom and Janice went also. So I asked Janice in the restroom, does Tia have a problem with me? And she goes, Does Tia have a Everyone has said how you're going when we were gone, don't tell me who needs to grow up. Oh, finally, there's a fight. Finally, there's a fight going on, you know? You know, I'm not gonna start start with you. Like, yeah. just focus on your poses more. Seriously. Hold on, hold on. What was that? You child? You wanna say it again? Yeah, you were Filipino. You wanna say it again? Oh my god, this little girl, someone needs to wash her mouth with soap. Like, it's so vulgar and so offensive. I can't wait for all the little girls to look up to you. You're the greatest role model yeah, ever, Emma, Tia. Yeah. A lot of people fear Tia. She's 17 years old, I don't know why, but I am not afraid of her. Those girls just need to stay on their side. And we just need to stay. They should just go back to their rich ass families and you know, live their lives. Like they always do like, I'm a princess. Then they see Janice as somebody who follows Tia around 
and it's her little whatever. And Janice just freaked out on Sneha and walked out and was just cursing, 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 cursing. Yo, T, you know what she said? You know what Sneha said about me? She said, I follow you around like a ass dog, little bitch. I never said, I said, you need to have a mind of your own. I don't have a mind of my own. I never said that. You are such a genius word. Punjabi India princess. Bitch. Don't change my world. Kill you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you brought up Janice. Like, seriously, that's how you talk to people? I honestly think Janice is crazy. I think she's psychotic. Janice scares me a bit <laughs> because she's so aggressive and in your face and opinionated. No, I just don't think she attack bitches in the bathroom saying we have the inferiority complex. Yeah, dude. We didn't attack you. We were trying shut to talk up, you. you shut up. You shut up. You shut up. You filthy mouth. Nah, man. I just don't like being referred to as a little bitch and I'm very clear about my thoughts. I didn't say anything to her and she just abused me in the bathroom. She called me a she walked out. So I have nothing to do with people who abuse and use filthy language. And you don't? Yeah. I've never heard you say the F in my life. I didn't say it to you. I'm not here to make best friends. I'm not here to make homies. I'm not, make, I'm not here to make girlfriends. This is a competition and it's getting real. You know, I see this beautiful girl in this gorgeous photograph looking back at us and then I see this girl who's taken this picture in Batu Caves and I'm like, oh, what's happened? You know, it's almost heartbreaking to see. One step forward, two steps back. And here we have Sneha who looks almost at home in this picture. It's true, she's majestic in here. I wonder if the shapeshifter is going to continuously give us shapes or run out. As I said in this picture, I didn't recognize Tao. Seems like she's learning. We'll have to see how she does in the future. Gee, hey, oh dear. I really do feel like I'm in trouble. Good movement, good posture, just completely absent face. And now we've got our sick girl, Janice. Great laid back attitude, but not such great shape. Almost falling down the stairs, Marie. I like it. Great outfit, but not quite working for me. Totally. She's on fire. She knows what she's doing. She's super girl. Nicole, unbelievable. I did not even recognize her. I love that she's listening to our notes. Great job. Natalie, who's managed to just shorten her body even further. I don't like her hands and arms. Josephine, I really think this one's gonna super shine, but not so in this photo. Oh, she's on fire. This mega crazy Sheena, awesome picture. Red hot. Pooja, I think Pooja's learning. I feel Pooja takes nice photos with no effort. Bona. Oh, so oh. sad to see this picture really... She really is committing suicide with this photo. Katerina and her Wonder Woman suit below, but not quite. Her body just can't figure out what story that is. All right, so let's get the girls back in. 14 beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have 13 photographs in my hand. The winner of best photograph this week is... Nicole. You earned this. You seriously did. Runner-up for best photograph this week is... Jodely. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's Next Top Model. Thank you. Sheena. Tao. Katerina. Congrats, beautiful girl. Natalie. Sneha. Janice. Congratulations, keep working it. Josephine. Congratulations. Puja. Gorgeous legs of yours, congratulations. Thank you. Jihei. You know what you need to do, right? Take advantage of this opportunity. Okay? Tia, Bona, Marie, please step forward. Three beautiful women stand before me, but I only have two photographs in my hand. Who will stay? Who will go? Tia? You've just shown us how this industry can be. One day you're up, and the next you're down. Bona, you have such a lovely energy, and I totally salute you. Marie, you have such an interesting look. 
Is it enough? Is it enough for all of you? The girl whose name I don't call needs to go back to the Ritz, pack your bags and go home. Marie. Congratulations. You're still in the running to what's becoming Asia's Next Up Model. The next photograph that I have in my hand belongs to Tia. Clearly you've got a lot of work to do and you have to remember when you're up you can't be too confident. Thank you. Bona, terima kasih. Thank you so much for having so much dignity and so much grace. Yeah, yeah. You really are so beautiful. Actually, I feel disappointed because I cannot uh, run through this journey. I'm so grateful being on this competition. This is not the end of my journey. I can still find another opportunity and it's uh, something to be regret. Next episode, tension builds up. Take somebody talking about themselves like constantly. I'm not here to make best friends forever. Even if I want, I would never change. As the models face their biggest fears, my hands were shaking, like full on shaking and I couldn't control it. I hope I don't die. From the top of the world. Don't don't touch the rope. To freezing sub-zero temperatures. Then she lost it. And a shocking event will shake up the competition. What's the matter? Yes, yes. Who will stay strong as we continue our search for Asia's next top model?